Hi everyone, Pastor Steve here again with another one in our series on what we believe. Uh, we believe in the plan of salvation, I'll just read that out, that repent of your sins, be baptised in full immersion in the name of Jesus Christ, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, Acts 2 verse 38. So referring back to Acts 2 verse 38, um, when they asked what shall we do, Peter talked about repenting, which we talked about uh, in one of the other previous videos, and then he said, let every one of you be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission or the removal of forgiveness of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit so today we're going to talk about baptism now um, when I was a child I was christened in uh, the church that I never went to but my parents belonged to and um, I would have considered that to be my baptism but when I began to read the Bible and became a Christian in practice I realized that baptism <clears throat> was a full immersion from someone that's already repented of their sins, understands who Jesus is and has made that confession of faith, that commitment to him. And as a baby, obviously, you, you can't do that. You don't understand anything about life, let alone God's plan for salvation. So uh, when I came into the church, uh, I was shown this scripture, Acts 2.38, about the need to be baptised. And also I was, it was explained to me that christening uh, was a sprinkling where they sprinkled water over you. Obviously you, you didn't understand what baptism was about. And so it wasn't what the Bible teaches about baptism. Now, I'm the way that I am because I believe that we should follow what the Bible says. It's in there for a reason. So uh, they showed me that the Bible was talking about baptism as an immersion fully in the water so and that's what uh, baptism actually means the original word means to immerse or to bury and obviously if you sprinkle someone with a bit of dirt you don't bury them but when you bury them you bury them under the water you know fully under the ground so that's what water baptism was about now water baptism is also it's an outward show of our faith it's an outward show of obedience to God and it's that next step in publicly saying I belong to Jesus so I allowed myself to be baptized in the name of Jesus according to what the Bible taught full immersion about a week after I repented of my sins um, now we here at Plumpton Community Church we baptize only in the name of Jesus uh, we believe that the name that Jesus came in the name of his father that Obviously, the Son is named Jesus, and that he said, I will send the Holy Spirit in my name, so that the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is Jesus. The, Jesus said that, uh, you know, the Bible says that his name is above all names. So we believe that we're, we pray in the name of Jesus, we we go out in the name of Jesus, we, we preach in the name of Jesus, but we also baptize in the name of Jesus. Uh, many churches baptize using the titles Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Uh, but we believe that baptism is in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you look through the scriptures, I'm just going to give you a, a couple of examples of that. In Acts chapter 8, it says in verse 16, I believe, uh, it says that they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then in Acts chapter 10, Peter says, um, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord Jesus. And then in Acts chapter 19, this is Paul. He's met some people. They're already believers. They had been baptized. But then he says to them about how do, how are you baptized? And they they when he when he heard how they'd been baptized, he said, um, you know, we need to you need to believe on him who come after him, who is Jesus. And in verse five of chapter 19, Acts chapter 19. He says they were then baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So all the way through the, the Bible, you'll find that they only baptize in Jesus' name. Um, now, if you haven't been baptized in Jesus' name, the way that I'm teaching, does that mean you're not a Christian? No. Um, there, there are some people that may say that, but um, I don't believe that. I believe that Christians are those who have repented, those who believe Jesus is Lord, who have confessed their sins and that, you know, they're following him. That's what, you know, we believe in he, he's 
his, his resurrection, his death, you know, all the, the things that, that traditionally that the Christian church believes. But if you haven't been baptised in Jesus' name, pray about it, ask God about it. Um, you know, sometimes God reveals things to us that weren't part of our church tradition and then God reveals a little bit more of himself. Um, uh, and, and just consider, uh, have I been baptised the way that the Bible teaches? Um, if you're not, be at peace. God's still your God and, you know, you belong to him. Um, but this is uh, what the Bible teaches and I want to go back to what the Word of God says on this subject as well as every other subject. I'm Pastor Steve. Have a great day. God bless.